remove this back PCB, remove four screws and after this you will uh, unscrew these uh, switches and poten potentiometers. Uh, before this uh, mark with uh, some pen or something similar top sides, top sides of switches and potentiometers for better uh, orientation during uh, installing back in body of radio. So remove this plate and uh, we will make some changes on this back plate. Wires, wires from uh, wires to connector on a uh, side of radio. Black and red wires uh, to connector. I removed. Yes, I don't need this connect uh, these wires. So remove this connector during uh, removing of uh, back PCB from radio. Now, on back side of this PCB, we must remove color beside of this connector and I don't know if it will be sharp. Probably not. Ah, now it's okay. So. You must remove and uh, remove color and break path from both sides to pin number two from top side. If I have is uh, in hand in this position from top side, pin number two break paths from both sides of this connector. Pin number two, brake paths. After removing the color, we will see the uh, result later. And on the other side, on the other side, brake paths here and here. Yes, maybe some detail. Yes, you can see it here. And here, brake pass. Of course, same like uh, other mods of radio, all what we will make, you make on your own risk. Yes, it's all your own risk. It works, but you must be precise and perfect. Yes, without mistakes. If you will make mistakes, you will probably destroy your radio. So I'm done with this. How you can see I removed the color. I use a special tool in Dremel. And after removing the color I break paths to pin number two from top side. One, two, three, four, five. No, four. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Pin number two. I know, I know it's black on black background, but I think it's clear. Uh, check it with multimeter if you are without a connection between pin number two and ground. Ground is all this is ground. Yes, you must be without a connection between pin number two. And ground, and on the second side, other side, you can see I break the paths here and here. You must disconnect uh, point from top side, point number two and number five. Nothing special. You must be clear with this. This is uh, not really for beginners. I feel we will need this interface, first kind interface. Uh, I will modify this a little bit and I will prepare backplate, back PCB for this uh, component, for this part. 
I will show you later. So what I to do with this part? You can see I bend some legs and I remove one leg. If I have in my hand in this direction, it means this chip on top side of this component is on the right top side, top right corner. And if I count legs from this side, so this leg is bended, next leg is removed, I cut it, next leg is bended, next leg is bended. And on other side I bend this small leg. Of course you must be careful because if you uh, cut, remove some leg, rem next, some next leg, you will have problem. So be careful and make it. Why I bend these legs? Because I put it on this PCB, please be sharp picture, on this place and uh, if I count oh my god if I count uh, from this side first leg first solder point Nothing, nothing, next, bended leg, and next leg is uh, removed, cut it, and this leg will be here on ground, on minus ground. I mark it with a pen, I will remove color and I will solder it on this place. Same on other side. This small tiny leg will be here on the ground. I will show you result. I think it will be clear. So here is the result. I think it's clear from this picture. Solder on point one. Nothing, nothing. Solder. Nothing and ground minus ground. And this one pin is broken, removed. Yeah, I think it's clear. One picture be better than 20 words, especially my words. And on back side, one, two, three is free for now. It will not be free, but for now it's free. And pin number four is again on the ground, on minus. Yes? Now we on this three pins at uh, servo cable for connecting tire X and RX from and to CPU and one wire for plus five volts. I will show you again result. So here is result. Female on servo cable, classic servo cable, servo extension, female. Of course female if we have on a main board with CPU. If we have on main board with CPU male, so here we can use female. I think it's clear. Well, what? For sure. So, one wire for 5 volts and servo wire. First pin, this wire on the first point, 5 volts. First pin. Next pin, red wire on servo cable 
next pin black wire on servo cable and last pin we know it last pin is bended and it's soldered on the ground ground on minus yes I want to show you it in detail I think it's clear yes We will isolate it. I use uh, hot glue, but after testing, after testing, if all will be work okay without any problems, after all testing, we can cover it with hot glue. Now, <coughs> now we will, now we will mm, modify or make some small changes on. Transmitter module, first sky transmitter module. I will use often this first sky combo. This is combo with uh, transmitter module, of course, telemetry transmitter module because we want telemetry. And with telemetry 8 channel receiver. Yes. Be careful because some combos are with uh, telemetry transmitter module and non-telemetry receiver. We need both with telemetry support. Yes. So, transmitter module we will open and oh, be sharp please. Transmitter module we will open and make some change inside. So here is result. Module from first sky transmitter module. We will use one short wire and one resistor 2K7. 2K7, it means 2700 ohms. 2K7 resistor. Wire will be soldered on this first, first point here on this on this second pin yes on this pin resistor will be from first pin 2k7 resistor from first pin on this uh, this second point solder it directly on this small plate. We will solder it on this points beside. It probably will not be works. It uh, is uh, same time uh, connected inside, same time not, depending on version of transmitter model. If you will solder it directly on this small plate, or the springers, small, small springers, it will be works. So, again, First pin, resistor 2K7 on this second point and second pin directly short wire on last point. Yes. I think it's clear. Don't make mistake. So now we can put in inside the box.
well now we can put uh, put this uh, back PCB back in radio body but before this one important thing if you have one from newer version of uh, T9X or TH9X this this radio simply you will have probably this space for the X module with this this type of plastic part and you cannot put standard like for sky the X module the Xbox inside yes you must cut small hole is uh, on this place for easy putting of transmitter module inside yes I will make it I will show you so you must make some similar hole and with this hole you can put a module inside the space without any problem yes this hole this is not, uh, something different this is for battery MPX mode mod yes this hole is important for transmitter module so our radio is complete now we will try if our telemetry on display will work I will switch on the radio and long press long press this button down I will in telemetry here blinking no data it means no telemetry data now are coming in the transmitter from receiver and on other side too. These numbers, uh, this is timers, yes. We are interesting about these two numbers, two zeros. This is quality of connection between transmitter and receiver. So, here I have a receiver, of course. Telemetry receiver and of course I have this receiver binding, uh, binded, <laughs> binded binding, I don't know, with transmitter, yes? So now I will put a battery in receiver and voila, you can see it works. TXRX, this is quality of connection between transmitter and receiver. So. Automatically works, and this radio now it's not complete. I must finish it with battery mode, etc. But um, here you can see module our modified module inside the body without any problems. It works.